That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Armando De La Torre Sr. I'm Armando Jr. And we own and operate Guisados in Los Angeles. It's a slow fast food restaurant. Slow cooked food served on a taco. As of now, we've got four locations in Boyle Heights, Echo Park, downtown LA, West Hollywood, and soon in, ah, question mark. Guisados means to be braised or stewed. Uh, everything we do here is a slow cook process. These braises take two to three hours to cook, not let alone prepare. Like any culture, uh, there, there's these different types of braises that grandma or mom makes that she slaves away with all day. And so we really wanted to bring that out, the ones that we were raised with, and, and to try to replicate those flavors. What I'm gonna make for you now is, is our chicharron. It's my favorite dish. It's pork skin that's been deep fried. And it's a simple recipe. We've taken these ingredients, put them into a blender, take the salsa, pour it over the chicharron, and this just simmers. When someone tells me it reminds them of their grandmother or their mom's cooking, that's the man, highest. Yeah. That, that's such a compliment. And it's because like we're doing something that people are used to seeing in Mexico. And on the other side of that, we're doing things that you don't see in Los Angeles. You see these street tacos. You can go to any corner out here after 8 o'clock and there's all these street tacos out there. But they're all serving the same thing. They're all serving al pastor, carne asada. What we've been able to deliver is just something that's Different. A little bit of green chili and that's it. And there's chicharron. So we opened the first Isados in Boyle Heights in December of 2010. After a bit of press and pretty much the Jonathan Gold feature was the one that changed everything, it was the title of Badass Taco. Yeah. The day that that came out, we sold so much spicy food because that's what he likes to eat. Chiles toreadas? Have you ever had it? It's super hot. All right, then we just sit back and watch. We work well together, I think. Change that chuleta out, it looks dry. I'm really concerned with the back of the house and the food. He concerns himself with the front of the house, with the, the details, with the, with the decorations, with the lighting, all the stuff that I know nothing about. And in the end, he's still my pops. So if he says no, the answer's no. I think I fired him like four times already. <laughs> and I keep coming back. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's go. Going to Bestia, it's one of our favorite restaurants. Craving this happens a, to be uh, uh, one of the hottest restaurants in LA right now. But I just go for the cocktails. I got invited to go opening night, and then I had such a good dinner and such a great experience that I made reservations that night for the next day for my dad. I called the restaurant about an hour early and I was like, uh, can you make it for four? And I jumped in on his reservation. Yes, yeah, so and we we've been going, meal. but we actually haven't been back together. Oh, we have once, we went once. That was his bachelor party for his yeah, recent wedding. Party. What happens at Bestia stays there. <laughs> Bestia is Italian. More than the food, it's the service, it's the environment. Yeah, it's a lot of energy and, and everything there like shows that. You can taste the amount of work that's put into every bite. Yeah, that's just cool. I feel like Norm. <laughs> Sitting at the bar at any restaurant is cool, but to be at Bestia at the bar is cool times two. Thank you, sir. What do we have this here? Is this is rum agricoles daiquiri, so daiquiri time out before everything starts happening for real. Uh, the fresher, it's hot, just clean the palate up a little bit. Fish it to the wine. Oh, you're supposed to shoot it? The cocktail program philosophy here at Bestia is very, uh, what I would call chef driven. We sort of are thinking outside of the box, but still making cocktails that tastes good with the food because ultimately that's what's the most important. Is there anything new we should try? Yeah, the octopus. Yeah, we'll start with the, um, the octopus, the uh, marrow. bone marrow. That's good. That's good. Let's start with there. What's yeah. like? First thing we had was the, the, octopus. the octopus. 
Carpaccio, lime beans. Yeah, you got tomatoes, octopus, uh, dill. I love the texture of the octopus. Yeah, it's grilled if you, perfectly. If you, if you work it all together, the octopus, the tomato, the dill, and a little bit of the garbanzo, man. Sure. La calla. Guacamole like was delicious. Something like that, right? <laughs> For you guys. What is it? Uh, it's a little palate cleanser. Kind of I made Armando a cocktail called an All She Wrote, which is bitter, um, putti mess, maraschino liqueur, uh, dry vermouth, but it's sort of a palate cleanser. It can be a little overwhelming. And uh, he tried it and made a face that I wasn't particularly proud of, but it is what it is. Next. Now we get the uh, uh, no, no, no. A bone marrow to enjoy it. You're gonna scoop the marrow of the bone and mix it with the spinach and put it on there. That is so good. That is so good. It just coats your mouth with this gelatinous bone marrow beef butter flavor. It's just so good for you. It keeps me in shape. Yeah. Round is a shape. All right. What are we doing? All right. So. Uh... We do something here at Bestia called a bone luge. After the bone marrow is done, we scrape out what little marrow is left inside the bone, and one of our sommeliers brings over a sherry, typically a Palo Cortado. <laughs> oh, I like that. Do that again. <laughs> That was the best luge I've ever had. I'm a luge master. All right, man, thank you guys for having us. Oh, gracias. Thank you. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Thank you, man. Pleasure, bro. See you, man. Thank you, have a good night. All right, guys, out of the way. Uh, now we're in the minivan. Never mind. Wrong car. So now we're headed to El Tepeyac. People always ask me, like, what's your favorite Mexican food? And I don't really have a favorite Mexican food. I have my favorite Mexican restaurant. You're talking about comfort food? To me, this is comfort food. <sighs> Smells like home. There's some burritos. El Tepeyac is an old restaurant in East LA. Probably uh, the, the godfather of Mexican food. And Manuel, who passed away just a couple years ago, we've known him literally all my life. I guess you would call it typical Mexican. It's yeah. got a Hispanic diner. It's like a Mexican diner. Yeah. It's a good way to yeah. describe it but it's always been a landmark. It is, it is an L.A. landmark, El Tepeyac. We're gonna be meeting Art, uh, one of my buddies, is an awesome photographer. Um, and then we invited David, too, one of like the funniest dudes I know. You guys have any stories about this place? Yeah, yeah, I was telling Art, actually, that I've never been. It's really? just, every time I pass by here, it's just so packed that I, I circle and circle and I can never find parking, so. Hey, Lena, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Elena Rojas. I'm the daughter of Manuel Rojas, and I'm now the owner of El Tepeac in Boyle Heights. Armando de la Torre Sr. has been my friend since we were teenagers. Do you have a kiss on your face, sir? Really? Yeah. It makes me look cool. Yeah, what was your order? The manual, manual special. I'm just going to share the that. The original pork? Yeah. The manual special is a five pound burrito. It's about this big. It's got rice, beans, chile verde, guacamole, wrapped in a tortilla, cheese, and then more chile verde on top. And then the heart attack on the side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a the baby. It's time to eat. <laughs> That's a art, piece of artwork. Do the pleasures, do the honors. And it's like cutting a pizza, huh? Even that's a big burrito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all like this. And you can taste everything in it. You can taste the cheese, the cheese of everything, you can taste the guacamole, everything. Just enough hotness to keep you going back for more, but not too hot to overwhelm you to where you want to stop. Salud. 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 Rojas family. Amen. Oh God. Between between the four of us we finished. Man, that was rough. Now I'm full. Now I'm full. All right, let's get on the road. We'll get some more off who's who's the right. designated driver? Uh, let's do it.
David brought his Impala, so we're gonna take the Impala down to Eastside Love and just kind of get a couple cocktails over there. So I guess they make some great micheladas and chiladas and They're, uh, beer and wine. Sangria is good too. Sangria. Yep. <laughs> Eastside Love wine and Kessel, right? Yeah. yeah. I've never had their Kessel. It's a really dope bar. Like, there's red suede interiors. There's mariachi yoki some nights. Morris yoki. Morris yoki tonight. I don't even listen to Morrissey, but that ought to be interesting. Cheers, guys. Thank you for joining us. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little too old to be here. Actually, cool spot. Yeah, it's a cool spot. Real cool. And, and it's in Boyle Heights. Who would have thought? Never. A velvet rope and a bouncer in Boyle Heights? What are they? It's usually a policeman with a chop going like that. <laughs> so Eastside Love was just a little too full for us. I guess everybody loves Morrissey, so um, it was good to see Alan and, and everybody there, but we just kind of had to move on and get back to the restaurant because it's time to cook. So that was crowded. We just stopped doing tacos and just started selling beer. And Morrissey. And Morrissey. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make some ropa vieja. I know some carnitas. Good thing the restaurant's a mile away because I am the most uncomfortable man in Los Angeles <laughs> right now. Because somebody's fat over there. Not like me. <laughs> Here we are. All right. Let me get into the kitchen, do some cooking. So I invited a bunch of friends to come meet us at the restaurant. Your girlfriend's I mean, coming. Is she your girlfriend? So. All right, so I'm going to make ropa vieja. It's usually, well, it's not usually, typically made out of uh, beef brisket. I'm gonna make it out of like, carnitas. We shred it, add a little uh, tomato, onions, jalapenos, just toss it all together. Serve on a tortilla, get out. That's how it works. He does, he puts everything in it and I do all the work and I start sweating. Woo! <laughs> Who's hungry? So next up, we're gonna make some quesadillas with chorizo and seared um, serrano peppers on top. Here comes round two! <laughs> so I think it was good last night. Yeah. You like it? it went well. Yeah, it was fantastic. I had an awesome time. Yeah, I'd do it again right now. Just two seconds. Just two seconds to uh, thank everybody for coming out and hope Where'd you enjoyed the food. Where'd you get that? Huh? <laughs> that. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, cheers. There's more beer, there's more food. Yay. Ask Armando, Woo! I'm going home. Woo! No, but for real, go home. <laughs>